What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, cups, and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate and address. This is the June 2022 Oracle card reading for the sign of Birds. This can resonate with Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the Moon, energy of your charts. It's very, very, very important. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, as it is a free Oracle card reading. So it's not a personal reading, okay? Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link is in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, I will, just a FYI, I do not ask you for money. I will never ask you for money. And I will never ask you for a reading. Uh, people come to me for readings. So just to let you know, okay? If people, if somebody poses to me asking you for money or somebody poses to me asking you for a reading, it is a scam. Just let everybody know, okay? Please report them if that happens, okay? Spirit messages you have for uh, Sunbirds. Um, by the way, uh, we're at 13,015 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel, you guys. I really, really, really appreciate all the love and support to the channel. I truly do from the bottom of heart chakra. It helps support a single mama of two kids and one of her income streams. So I really, really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do. Love you guys so much. I did receive a channel message in as I was, um, Meditating on your June of 2022 Oracle reading, Oracle card reading, and it's pretty interesting to say, it's pretty interesting. So the channel message I received was, um, someone that once put a cord, um, uh, someone that once did a binding spell, I'm sorry, a binding spell on a Fem energy in the past. Um, now they are in frantic mode and they're about to perform a cord cutting ceremony. However, it is about to severely backfire on them. They have done dark arts for many, 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 many years. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I feel energies can be reversed and that's all I heard. So I feel for, this is for the sign of Virgo. So I feel for some of you guys, you, hell of Virgo might've been doing this. For some, it might be any other sign that you're connected to birds. Only you know if you practice uh, dark arts for a shit ton of many moons or not, okay? Only you know your story, not anybody else. So, are, have you been practicing dark arts? Did you uh, do a binding spell on a particular film energy or not? Or maybe you're connected to someone that's really heavy into dark arts and they did a binding spell. Um, it sounds like they've done it. They did it for a hot ass minute on this film energy, but now they're freaking out. Um, I don't know why they're freaking out. Um, and now they want to do a cord cutting ceremony, but it's about to seriously backfire. Backfire in a way they would have never expected. A huge negative tower moment here. For some huge negative tower moments. Oh, dear Lord. So it's at least two people that's done this in the universe. It might be Virgo. It might be another sign. It's pulling up in your reading, Virgo, so I feel at least one of you guys have done this to a thin energy, but only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? But however it resonates, for it sounds like one person it's about to backfire in one huge negative tower moment for one, two, or two plus negative tower moments. Um, I didn't hear specifically what they were. Only these people are going to know what it is when it occurs. Sounds like the huge negative tower moments haven't occurred yet, but sounds like they're upcoming in the universe because the cord cutting ceremony hasn't even occurred yet. Um, but the the person freaking out, I think, has occurred or is about to occur. Um, and I strongly feel it might be a Virgo in one of these situations that's done this. For some, it might be somebody connected to a Virgo, but it's heavily coming up in your reading. Oh, this applies, Virgo. Just saying. Spirit messages you have some birds. But you only take the messages that resonate. One may resonate, two may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Only you know your personal story and situation, not anybody else. For one of these people, the way it's about to backfire is a huge amount of their clientele is about to partake in this person's services. It's about to piss them off in a huge way. Oh, my Lord. I heard in one of the ways it's about to backfire is a... Um, this part, a reader, reader to reader. 
Reader to reader is what I just heard. Reader to reader. Oh, my Lord. So, reader to reader energy. So, another reader put a binding spell on another reader. It sounds like a hot minute ago is what it sounds like from my channel messages. However, now they want to do a cord cutting ceremony to break the binding spell because they don't want this. They don't want the binding spell anymore because it sounds like they've gotten what they wanted. Um, so, now they're done. They're trying to energetically disconnect from this person. They don't want anything to do with them because there's narcissistic energy. They got what they wanted. They were on the dark side, blah, 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 blah. They got what they wanted. They want to do the cord cutting ceremony. But it is about to seriously freaking boomerang back, man. Oh, my God. Um, I heard in one of these situations, it's a reader-to-reader -reader energy. And, um, and I feel one of the readers might be a Virgo, and that's why we're pulling it up in Burks. Um, but however it resonates... I heard one of the ways it's going to backfire on the reader to reader energy is several of their clientele is a point to partake in this other person's services. So the other reader services that they're trying so hard to do the core cutting ceremony on to get them out of their energetic space, to get them out of their mind, to get them out of their energy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When at one time they were begging, 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 please God, let me have your energy. Please God, let me blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. Wow. That is so wild, man. You plug it in, how it resonates. Another Virgo is getting a huge wake up call. Another Virgo is getting huge wake up calls, what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. January, not unsuccessful plans. Rose, romance is in the air. Pond, dolphin, fire ant. I think I'm missing one. Hold on one second. So, yeah, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, man, that's wild. And, and one of those situations is reader-to-reader -reader energy. It can be a masculine or femme reader that did the binding spell um, in the past. Um, apparently, they just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it, too. Like, they they just didn't do it and just quit. They kept on fucking doing it. Um, so, it can be masculine or femme reader, possibly a Virgo in some of these situations, possibly not in some. And then a femme energy they did the binding spell on. It's about the energetically boomerang back. Good. Wow, man. Star Seed Unite. Star Seed Unite is what I just heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys is Star Seed Birds, or you're connected to somebody that's a Star Seed. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of Star Seed Unite energy. Um, I love my Star Seeds. I do, I do, I do who. I do, you guys. I love you guys so much. Just saying. We, we are called aliens in the 3D world. Uh, hell, when, at, when I worked at the hospital this last time, um, I was called an alien many, many, many times when I worked at the hospital. In fact, they had it a little joke calling me an alien behind the scenes snickering. <laughs> and I'm serious. But I think those people watched my channel. They just didn't want to admit that they watched my channel. And I'm just being for real. But that was their favorite thing. To make fun of me in a sly way, but I but I fucking knew. Of course, I didn't say nothing, but I knew. Okay, you're calling me an alien. I'm a star seed. I'm weird. I'm different. Okay, but I'm coming here and doing my job. That's what matters. So, star seed unite, baby. I think one of you guys is star seed, and you're about to connect with a star seed, or you already have connected with star seed, or you're standing up for a star seed, or you're about to. However, that resonates in one's life, folks. Some kind of star seeds unite energy. I feel that's the way it can go, but you plug it in your own life. How it resonates. It's really beautiful. Number 17 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 17, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 17, action, pond, rose, knot, January, dolphin, fire ant. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with a water sign or a fire sign. If you are, they have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Hamer, Jupiter charts with the Dolphin and Fire Ant, Animal Spirit energies. Number 32, 34, and 30 is significant. Number 30, 32, and 34 is significant. So, however, that is significant in your life, Virgo. 30, 32, 34, those could be age, possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 30, 32, 34. 
and we have 17 down here. 18, 24, 26. 18, 24, and 26, too. So we have 30, 32, 34, 18, 24, I think, and 26. So you plug those numbers in, however they resonate and apply in your life. Water sign, fire sign, energy, dolphin. A particular Virgo is about to go ground themselves in a body of water. For some, a spiritual bath. For some, the ocean. For some, a pool. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Virgo is about to go ground themselves in a body of water, I heard. For some, a pool. For some, an ocean. For some, a spiritual bath. So dolphin energy in this aspect is you about to take on the dolphin energy. I'm feeling Virgo. Um, and ground yourself. Um, I feel for some, you, you, you've been feeling ungrounded. Your energy's been feeling ungrounded. Uh, one person, I feel one Virgo's depth energy is definitely ungrounded. So much so, they're about to go do a cord cutting ceremony. I mean, I'm serious. Um, but for everybody else, I just feel you are just, um, you're ungrounded. Um, maybe somebody, uh, got under your skin or somebody has been antagonizing you. Or somebody's been putting work on you. Uh, we have heavy dark arts already in here. We're not even 12 minutes in. So I feel for some, somebody's been putting work on you. Or you feel they have been. Um, and for some, you do dark arts. And I'm just being for real. So however you want to ground yourself, however that applies to you there, Virgs. I feel this is a spiritual bath or grounding in ocean energy or the, um, or the uh, pool. Um, however that applies in one's life. A Virgo is about to reach out to a water sign very soon. Very angry conversation. Because of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A Virgo is about to reach out to a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. For some, it's an air sign. So for some of you guys, it's a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. Uh, because of the past. Now, it could be a mask on or femme, water sign or air sign, however that resonates, but you're about to reach out to some to a water sign, some uh, to an air sign because of the past, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, this is your water sign, but for, it's a, for some it's an air sign too. So um, they could have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, but however that resonates, it's a very angry energy. And that would make sense with the fire ant energy because you're going to take on the fire ant energy when you reach out to this water sign or air sign of your, um, they're either of your current energetic space or of your past. But whatever you're reaching out to them, it is because of the past. I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. But when you reach out to the, it's you about to reach out to this water sign or air sign if this particular message or messages applies for you, Virgo. But when you reach out to the water sign or air sign, or maybe the both for some, only you know your story and anybody else, you're going to be taking on fire sign energy here. Um, angry, uh, angry, fiery energy. Stinging. I think you're going to sting the hell out of them. Chow, sound, 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 sound. I mean, I'm just for real, for real. I mean, I don't know how else to explain this shit. I'm just being for real. You're going to sting their, sting their asses. Very angry. Very angry. Damn. So something happened in the past. Very negatively, man. You're about to sting the hell out of them like fire ant stings your ankle. And I'm just being for real. Oh, Lord. And one Virgo is about to really love a Leo feminine reader. Really love them. Very real. And for one of these Virgos, they are going to pay it forward to this Leo reader promotion. Well, wow, wowzers, man, that's wonderful. Um, so you put a lot of reader energy in here. 
you plug it in how it resonates Virgo so um you plug it in how it resonates so one of you Virgos you're gonna it sounds like you're about to come in contact with this Leo Fem reader or you already have come in contact with the Leo Fem reader however that resonates and applies for you Virgo only you know, know your story not anybody else but however that resonates um whether you've already come in contact with them or you're about to you're about to really love them so I feel for a lot of you guys you're about to come in contact with them and I'm just being for real because you're about to really love them so and I'm just being serious for some you might have maybe they've improved or maybe they um have changed something about themselves or or their reading style or etc 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 but however that resonates you're about to really love them I'll tell you that um and I heard for one of you guys you're going to end up promoting um uh this Leo Fem reader they could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midham to Jupiter charts. So you're going to be taking on fire sign energy with your Earth sign self. And you are going to, but in this aspect, it's not stinging people's ankles like a damn fire ant. It is um, positive fire sign, desire, drive, and motivation with the promotion energy of this Leo feminine um, reader. I feel it's free, free promotion energy. I didn't hear it was, but I feel it is. Y'all know, like, I promote readers all the time for free on my channel if they do good work. Um, I don't ask anybody for a damn dime ever when I promote anybody. And that's just a damn truth because I feel we should all be altruist, altruistic to one another um, if we are able to do so. And that is my way of giving back to the spiritual community and other readers when I recognize they do good work. And that's just the truth, you know? And I think whoever this Virgo is, it's a Virgo reader to a Leo reader. Whoever, um, however this applies, that message applies. But however that applies, they're going to pay it forward. Um, now I don't know how they're going to promote this Leo reader. I don't know. I know how I promote other readers, but everybody's different and everybody has their own style and swag and creative ideas and blah, 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 blah. For some, they could just promote, um, her 3D out in their 3D community. For some, it could be on another social media platform. For some, it could be, um, maybe they have a three, maybe they have a business like out in the 3D and they promote the reader, word of mouth. For some, they could promote the reader out in their community. For some, they could do it on a social media platform. For some, they could tell their Aunt Ginger about it. I'm hell, I don't know. However, they're gonna promote. But in this aspect, it's not singing the hell out of somebody. It's promoting spark and fire and passion, positive passion about this Leo Fem reader that they are about to really love. Um, That's beautiful, man. So not singing the hell out of somebody. It's Fire, fire, fire! In a positive way. Just saying. Wow, man! I love it. A Virgo that wanted to keep a Leo feminine stuck in the past, it is about to seriously backfire on them in a serious way. Some dark arts way, some in other negative ways in the universe. We have a lot of dark arts in here. Some of you guys have just been into the damn dark arts. And I'm just being for real. I mean, the psychic intuitive messages do not lie. And I'm just being for real. Some of you guys have just been into the dark arts. And some for a hot ass minute. Well, nay nay, said the little red hen. Because we all know the laws of physics and the laws of the world. Black magic always backfires either a little bit or a lot. And that's just the damn truth. That's the freaking truth, for real, for real. Maybe some of these people didn't get the memo when they, they started doing it. But now it's about the karma wheel's about to start come knocking. The karma bus is about to start come parking. And that's just the truth. Woo! Um, so it's at least two Virgos in the universe. They wanted to keep a Leo feminine stuck. So that could have been the binding spell or it just could have been some other way. They just wanted to keep her stuck. They don't like her, didn't like her jealous of her or something but how the hell that resonates it's about backfire on them some of the ways of dark art some of the ways of not dark arts but i am feeling in all seriousness i'm feeling tower moment energy here i didn't hear tower moment energy but i am feeling it it could be small tower moments negative tower moments it could be large tower moments negative tower moments however that resonates um you plug it in how it resonates lord january I heard they're going to regret they ever did it. That they ever wished that she was stuck. Um, just let you know. They, they wanted her stuck and wanted her stuck and wanted her stuck. But soon, 
shit's going to start happening to them, these negative Virgo, these negative low vibrational Virgos. Now, if you're a high vibrational Virgo, this ain't resonating with you, okay? It's these low vibrational ass Virgos that wanted to keep this Leo Femme stuck. For some, it could be that Leo Femme reader. For some, it could be any other Leo Femme. They have to plug it in their own low, vib low vibrational life, however it resonates for them. But however it resonates, they don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, and values. I tell you that. For some, you do. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, and integrity. So you really have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you a high vibrational Virgo or are you a low vibrational Virgo? And that's just the truth for real, for real, okay? But I heard they're about to wish. They never wished her to be stuck. Um, and she is about to get unstuck all by her damn self. And you're about to have to watch it. I heard you. She's about to get unstuck all by her, at her damn self, all by her damn self, and you're about to have to watch it. So, okay, low vibrational Virgo, if you guys don't apply and you're not a low vibrational Virgo, you don't take this message messages. But there is a low vibrational Virgo out there that wanted to keep somebody stuck. And she's about to get out by her damn self, low vibrational Virgo, whether you wanted it or not, honey bunny or honey do, whoever you are, okay? January. January of 2023 is going to be a very, very, very significant month for a particular Virgo. Shocking things are going to happen in this month you would have never, ever expected in a million years. Know this. Holy crap. Keep plugging in how it resonates, Virgs. Well, um, we're in June of 2022 now. So, I mean, Lord, you've got a hot minute. So, I, to me, I feel this can go positively or negatively. Either it's going to be positive tower moments that are going to um, occur for you in the month of January or negative ones. It's unexpected things you would have never expected to happen in January 2023. So upcoming. I mean, hell, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. We got seven months, man. That's way in the future. But I guess if you feel this might resonate with you, I would keep it on a little sticky note um, or something. Um, I'm only a channeler from the universe delivering psychic intuitive messages. So if you feel this might resonate with you, I'd write it down a little sticky or something and put it somewhere when it's upcoming, like December or something. But I heard it's going to be, it sounds like the month is going to be life changing. It is going to be life changing. It is going to be life changing is what I heard. So it's going to be life changing for you, January 2023, either in a positive way or a negative way. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit there, verbs. If that message applies for you, but I'm, I got with seven months in the future, so I, I don't know. A water sign and a Virgo is about to hugely get into it in a huge way for some in a workspace situation. It's about to be so bad in one of these situations, security is about to get called and someone will be escorted out permanently. And the police will be called. Oh my God, what the hell? Whoa, holy shit. So you plug in out resonates. You've got heavy water sign energy in here, I'll tell you that. Now, whoever you are, Virgo, this is upcoming in the universe, and that could be the action card too. I'm surprised I didn't pull the jail card. Um, this is in a workspace situation. So this is not a business dynamic. Um, this is in a, like a, I'm thinking a corporation company, corporate entity, or a small business that everybody works there together, like under 100 employees kind of energy, or something like that. Um, but however that resonates, it is uh, you, Virgo, and a water sign, masculine or feminine water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, charts. And honestly, it's both of these energies about to happen. This is your water sign, the dolphin energy. <laughs> And this is you about to be taking on damn fire ant energy on their ass, I'm feeling. For some, the energies can be reversed, and it could be the water sign about to take fire sign energy on your ass. Only you know your story, not anybody else. When this plays out, only you're going to know what the hell 
whether you're going after this person or they're going after you. But I will tell you, security is going to be called. One person will be escorted out, whether it's you or this water sign. It can be a masculine or femme water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But one of you guys is going to be escorted out. Security will be called. One's going to be escorted out. So I think it's going to get physical. Or there's something crazy going on, like abuse or assault or something of that nature. And the police are going to get called. So something crazy is about to happen between a Virgo and a water sign, masculine or feminine energy, soon upcoming in a workspace situation. And I'm serious. So I don't know if you're about to call security or they're about to call security. I don't know if you're calling the police on this person, somebody else is calling the police on this person, or this person's calling the police on you. I don't know. Only you know you're starting on anybody else, but you it's upcoming in the universe. Cops going to get called. Security's going to get called. Somebody's going to get escorted out, whether it's you or this water sign. I'll tell you that right now, Virgo. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. And a phone call will be had to a very important, influential person in corporate soon after this. It's going to create many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard it, and a phone call will be had to a very important, influential person in corporate after this. Um, many series of chain of events will happen after this. So after you and this water sign get into this altercation, verbal, verbal or physical, or what is going to go on here? I don't know. I didn't hear specifically. But I will tell you one, the security is going to get called. Security will get called. One person's going to get escorted out and the police is going to get called. And if you didn't know this, it sounds like behind the scenes, a very important influential corporate person is going to get called too. It sounds like in your corporate entity that you workspace that you work at. So you do work at a corporate entity if that work, uh, resonates for you. And I heard many series of chain events are going to occur after that phone call is made to that very important influential person. So something is about to really happen between you and this water sign, man. So I don't know. I feel it can go either positive for you or positive for them. Only you know how this is going to play out because this is your energy and your upcoming events here, not anybody else. Holy good God. Action. Not unsuccessful plans. A particular granddaughter is about to really put off a Virgo. Know this. They're going to tell you they're going to do it. They're going to tell you they're going to do it. And they're not going to do it. They're giving you the runaround. Know this. Oh, Lord. So if this resonates for you, you're, you're a Virgo grandparent. I'll tell you that. So you have a grandson or a granddaughter. How that resonates. It sounds like your granddaughter or grandson is put, give, I heard they're giving you the runaround. They're giving you the runaround to unsuccessful plans. I think they're, well, I heard in here they were telling you they're going to, they keep telling you they're going to do something. Keep telling you they're going to do something. Keep telling you they're going to do something. But I heard in here they're not going to do it. So if you are currently getting the runaround from a grandchild, a masculine or feminine grandchild, and you feel that message resonates for you, just know I don't, I don't think it's going to happen unsuccessful plans they're going to keep on giving you the runaround for some they could have been doing this shit since january possibly you plug it in how it resonates man Woo! a vacation is about to go very 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 awry detour heavy detour energy and an unexpected visitor okay so some kind of vacation vacation is about to go very awry if this resonates for you it sounds like some of you guys upcoming in the universe you're about to take take a vacation a vacay vacay vibes i love vacay vibes man um y'all know i just went and spam in the pool up in nashville with uh and i hung out with some little adult young buck energies and i floated in the pool like a weird fish and they did their thing and it was the best thing since sliced cheese and blazy 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 but however that resonates, whatever your best life and whatever vacay is for you is what I'm trying to say. But however that resonates, um, it's about to go 
the way you don't think it's going to go. Unsuccessful plans. I heard some kind of detour energy and an unexpected visitor. So, obviously, you didn't plan for the detour energy or the unexpected visitor, if that resonates for you. For some, it could be a water sign or fire sign unexpected visitor. Possibly for some, because you have water sign, fire sign energy or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Romance is in the air. A love spell is very significant in a Virgo's life. Some, it has been cast on you. For some, you have wielded it. Okay. Whoa. What? So much heavy magic in here. So much heavy dark arts, man. Listen. Why is anybody putting love spells on any freaking body? I've had many suitors and chances in the universe and many dudes uh, and dudettes want to date my ass. Have I ever one day in my life used dark arts or sex magic or love spells? Hell to the his no, man. Go out there and just be yourself. Just be yourself, you guys. Be your damn self. If they don't like you, screw them. Not literally screw them. But there's... 50 billion other people in the universe. You can find somebody that appreciates your ass. You don't need no love spell or sex magic to manifest somebody in because that's when the weird shit happens. And that's just the truth. Be my needs to hear that. I'm serious. I mean, now, I'm single as a pringle and I'm happy as hell now. I'm serious. Do I want anybody? Nobody. No. Nay, nay, said little red hen because I like being by my damn self. But my point is, Nobody needs no, no love spells. Nobody needs no sex magic. It's gonna backfire. Just saying. So, one of you guys has been wielding love spells. One, you have had the love spell wielded on you. So, romance is in the air, and that aspect is love spell energy. Like, love potion number nine shit. And I'm just being real, for real. Oh, dear God. Um, hopefully the one that you had the love spell put on you, hopefully it doesn't injure, injure you. Hopefully you don't get like mentally disturbed and start stalking or obsessing over that person. And for the one where you wielded the love spell, karma gonna come around and get your ass in the form of energetic boomeranging backfiring one of these days. And I'm just being real. You might need to hear that. For one, a Gemini is about to try to contact you regarding, for some, a date, for some, hooking up. It would not be smart with this person. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of Gemini energy. I've been pulling Gemini energy in Virgos for a hot minute. Um, some kind of Gemini energy, masculine or feminine Gemini, they could have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here to Jupiter charts, but however that resonates, whoever this person is, um, and how they apply, I heard they're going to, some going to try to contact you to hook up, so like FWB, friends with benefits, or sneaky link, or situationship, or something like that, or hit it and quit it, one night stand, what, what, how, however you call it, and for some, it's for a date, so the date, I feel they want to make it very public, they really want to treat you right, for the FWB, tap it, tap, tap, tap it, just for the night, or the booty call, or the situation ship, or the oh, 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 just the wall for one night. That ain't smart. But of course, you know, everybody has a free will. You can choose to do that shit if you want to. But usually you don't turn out well. And I'm just being real. Been there, done that. Don't turn out good. Just saying. With no glide magic involved, I might add you. Just saying. So this is the asking out on a date or by the uh, by the Gemini or asking to hit it and quit it or tap that ass or booty call or what have you. You plug it in how it resonates. Pawn. For some, a rental property is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. For some, an Airbnb. 
for some a hotel. Okay, I heard for some a hotel, for some a Airbnb, and for some a rental property is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. So pond energy in this aspect is the hotel energy, Airbnb, or the rental property. You plug it in, how it resonates. How about that applies? Action. Return to sender. Okay. Actually, I heard return to sender, bitch. That's what I heard. Damn, I didn't want to be too crass on here. I've already talked about smacking it up and hitting that ass and blazy, blazy, blazy. So, but that's what I heard. Just saying, return to sender, bitch. So, I think one of you guys is about to do return to sender in all seriousness. I think you're about to do return to sender on a bitch. On a dark arts building bitch. That's what I think. Not calling anybody a bitch, but just saying, just saying. Disclaimer in that. But, one of you guys. You dark arts wielder, and I'm just being for real, for real. So somebody might be returning to send a um, bitch on you. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, man. I don't get dark arts, black magic, man. I'm too old for that shit. I'm 38. Jesus. Why, man? Why? 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 Just saying. Give the old woman a break, you guys. A Virgo is about to expose a fraud in a huge way. Huge way. Identity theft. For some, it's a doppelganger energy. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to expose a fraud in a huge way. Um, identity theft. So they have, it's not you in this aspect. You're about to expose this person. But you know they have identity thieves, somebody. For some, it could be you, they have identity thieves. Some, for some, it could be somebody else. But there are a double, one of them is two situations in the universe, but one, it's a doppelganger energy. So a doppelganger is basically somebody that either intentionally tries to look like somebody or they naturally look like somebody. But one of you guys, you're up and up. You're, you're on the up and up and you know this doppelganger identity thief. Either they're your doppelganger identity thief or somebody else's. You're about to expose their ass. Yeah, you go with your bad self. So I'm feeling reporting energy or police phone call energy, police report energy or something of that nature. About to take some action, baby. And a Virgo and Gemini's relationship is about to permanently end. This Virgo is very disgusted at this Gemini. Through many series of chain of events. Okay. And I heard a heavy uh, Gemini energy in here. And I heard a Virgo and a Gemini's relationship is about to completely end. Um, a Virgo is completely disgusted um, of a Gemini. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, Virg. You, you, you're disgusted with a Gemini. It could be the one that's asking you to smack, tap that ass for a night or do something raunchy for a night or what have you, what have you. Or it could be somebody else. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. I'll tell you that. A Virgo is about to make a very significant contact with their boss soon during shift hours. It's about to become very, very important and necessary to do so. It's going to lead to many series of chain events. There's a lot of workspace energy in here too, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a Virgo is about to make contact with their manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, somebody over them. Um, I heard during shift hours, so that's very specific. It's during shift hours, so it's important. It's very important. Um, I heard it's about to become necessary. So, um, you, and I think that's the action energy too. You're about to take some great action. Something is about to happen in a workspace situation where it is about to become necessary to contact them immediately. And for some, I feel it could be this crazy ass water sign. For some, it could be you that's acting crazy, but you are pulling in a identity thief and a fraud. So I think that might be the same person for some, for some, it could be somebody else, but and you're pulling in heavy workspace situation energies. I don't know. Only you know your story to anybody else. All right, I love you guys. Hope this helped and namaste.